Hey, it's Matty, MixandMasterMySong.com. Today we're gonna go over how to get clear low end using side chain compression in Studio One. Um, this is a really cool trick because it's, it's a way to get the bass guitar or, or the bass synth to get out of the way of the kick drum just a little bit, but you don't really notice it the way I'm gonna show you. You won't notice the bass really dipping that much because we're only gonna side chain a certain frequency, just the low end, the real low end of the bass so we can get dip that energy down a little bit, let the kick punch through a bit, and um, still have like a clear sounding bass, and it will still come through, and, and people won't notice that you're you're ducking your bass. So we'll check it out really quick. Um, I'll just play what we got. So you can hear like usually on the one kind of it's bump, bump, so the kick and the bass are hitting at the same time. Um, and, and you know, once the mix gets going, it's, it's probably not so noticeable here. But when you bring all the other instruments in, you'll see that it's kind of like fighting with each other. So what I do is <clears throat> I go to our bass and you can use any compressor. Um, I like to use the R compressor just because I've been using it for years, but you can do this with Studio One's compressor. I think most, any compressor that has sidechain ability. Then you go to your kick and on your send, you go down here to sidechains and look for our R compressor on the bass, which is right here. Um, mono, bass, R compressor, right? Click that. Next thing I do is I click here for, for pre-post. Um, I don't want it to be, I don't want when I change this fader to affect what's sending to this bass. So that's what happens when you click that there. Um, so now let's play our bass in our kick and just have what we're gonna try to do is just duck it down, um, pretty fast attack, medium release, and duck it down a bit. So it's taken off like 3 dB. If you notice, the kick seems to be cutting through just a little bit more now that we have that. So that's one way you can do it. You could just stop right there and, and, and fix it. But I like to kind of take it a step further. Um, because like this bass is pretty buzzy, you're going to get a lot of the bass sound, like what they, people perceive as the bass, as, as, as more high end. So what we can do is duck the low end instead of ducking the high end, which is not really getting in the way of the kick. This kick's, it kicks a pretty low endy kick. What we do is we turn on studio one splitter right so you drag this on top of your base your compressor now we're going to go to the we're going to go to the splitter and split it to frequency split and so that defaults at 240 that that's that's fine usually or I'll, i might take it down to more like 200 or 195 as close as we can get and then we're going to take the compressor and only put it on the side that is um the low end which is the 195 so anything Above 195 hertz will go this way and be untouched. Anything below will go through the compressor and duck when the kick hits. So now let's take a listen. So it's cool. So now, and I don't know, it's 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 somewhat subtle sometimes, but you can hear is the high end of the bass isn't being touched and it's just moving right along, playing the bass line. And then it's, but the kick's still coming through because we're ducking the low end, but you're not really noticing that too much. So that's a great way to um, separate your low end, your, your bass and your kick and get some more clear low end. Um, this is really helpful for 808s when you have 808s and kicks and they're both just fighting for space i do this a lot for that um so hopefully this helps you out and you know um you can apply to some of your songs um if you got any questions please leave them leave them in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe if you can and if you need your songs mixed or mastered hit me up at mix and master my thanks